Under the bright tropical sky, the camera opens over the crystal blue waters of the South China Sea. The gentle hum of an engine breaks the calm, a small gray aircraft glides across the horizon. It's not a fighter jet or a passenger plane. It's the Scan Eagle UAV, the first ever military drone operated by the Philippines. This small, silent machine represents a turning point in Philippine military history, a step into the age of unmanned flight, advanced surveillance, and modern defense. Welcome to the Rev Line. Today, we explore how this unassuming drone changed the way the Philippines defends its skies and seas, and why the Scan Eagle became the symbol of the nation's growing technological power. The journey begins years before the Scan Eagle ever touched Philippine soil. For decades, the Philippine military relied heavily on manned reconnaissance aircraft, limited radars, and slow-moving patrol ships to monitor its vast maritime domain. With over 7,600 islands and thousands of kilometers of coastline, keeping watch over the archipelago was no easy task. Piracy, smuggling, illegal fishing, and territorial disputes posed constant challenges. The armed forces of the Philippines needed an eye in the sky, one that could stay airborne for hours, watch silently, and send real-time data back to command. The answer came from an unexpected partnership, the Philippines and the United States. In 2017, through the U.S. Maritime Security Initiative, Washington delivered a major technological boost to Manila. The donation included six Scan Eagle unmanned aerial vehicles, worth around $13.2 million. Along with the aircraft came ground control stations, launch and recovery equipment, and training programs for Filipino personnel. This wasn't just a donation, it was a leap forward, the first step into a new age of modern aerial surveillance. At first glance, the Scan Eagle doesn't look like much. With a wingspan of about 10.2 feet 3.1 meters and a weight of only 22 kilograms, it's small, quiet, and almost invisible from the ground. But don't let its size fool you. The Scan Eagle is a high-performance surveillance drone designed for endurance, stealth, and precision. Built by Institu, a subsidiary of Boeing Defense, the Scan Eagle was originally developed in the early 2000s for commercial use, specifically for tracking tuna schools in the Pacific. But it didn't take long for militaries to see its potential. Its small frame, long flight endurance, and advanced optics made it perfect for modern reconnaissance. Once the Philippine military got its hands on the Scan Eagle, it quickly became clear just how valuable this technology was. Capable of flying up to 19 hours without refueling, the drone could cover vast areas of sea and land without being detected. It could fly as high as 15,000 feet, beyond the reach of small arms fire, while using its electro-optical and infrared cameras to detect even the smallest movements below. Its sensors could spot a small boat, track vehicles, or even locate insurgent activity in remote areas. And best of all, no pilot was at risk. The Scan Eagle operates using a catapult launcher system. There's no runway needed. It's launched using a pneumatic catapult, a simple, powerful mechanism that propels the drone into the air in seconds. Once airborne, it's guided from a portable ground control station by trained operators. After completing its mission, the Scan Eagle doesn't land like a normal aircraft. Instead, it's recovered mid-air using a skyhook retrieval system, a cable suspended from a tall pole that snags the drone's wingtip, bringing it safely to the ground. It's efficient, compact, and designed for deployment in remote areas or on naval vessels, a perfect fit for the island-dotted geography of the Philippines. But beyond the impressive technology lies the bigger story, how this drone transformed the Philippines' ability to defend its sovereignty. The Scan Eagle UAVs were first deployed by the Philippine Air Force, particularly by the 300th Air Intelligence and Security Wing. Their primary mission, to enhance maritime domain awareness and intelligence gathering. With the Scan Eagle, the Air Force could now monitor maritime borders, watch over the West Philippine Sea, and track suspicious activities without sending out manned patrols every time. These drones became the military's silent guardians, operating from airbases in Luzon and the Visayas, often conducting surveillance missions far out to sea. The introduction of the Scan Eagle also played a major role in counterinsurgency operations in the southern Philippines. In areas like Mindanao, where militant groups had long used the jungle and mountains for cover, the Scan Eagle gave the military a major advantage. It could fly silently over dense terrain, capturing high-resolution imagery and tracking enemy movements in real-time. 
During the later stages of the Marawi siege and in subsequent operations against extremist groups, drones like the Scan Eagle provided vital intelligence that saved countless lives and improved the precision of military strikes. For the first time in history, the Philippine military could combine satellite data, radar coverage, and real-time drone imagery to build a complete picture of the battlefield. This was a game-changer. Commanders could now see the situation unfold live, plan operations more effectively, and respond faster to threats. The Scan Eagle was more than just a drone, it was a bridge between traditional defense and the digital age. The significance of this acquisition also goes beyond the battlefield. The Scan Eagle marked a moment of modernization and partnership. The Philippines had long depended on older technology, often secondhand from allies. But with the Scan Eagle, the country gained access to cutting edge systems, new training programs, and modern operational doctrines. Filipino airmen, once trained to fly and maintain manned aircraft, were now learning drone piloting, data analysis, and advanced reconnaissance techniques. This knowledge transfer would pave the way for future drone programs and indigenous UAV development in the Philippines. The Philippine Navy also benefited from this technology. As the country continues to face maritime challenges, especially in the disputed West Philippine Sea, where foreign vessels frequently enter its waters, drones like the Scan Eagle provide constant surveillance. They can patrol without rest, record videos, and provide undeniable proof of illegal activity. In an era where maritime boundaries are increasingly contested, having eyes in the sky is as crucial as having ships in the sea. The Scan Eagle became an essential tool for protecting national interests and ensuring sovereignty over Philippine waters. But the Scan Eagle isn't just for war. It also serves in humanitarian and disaster response missions. The Philippines is one of the most disaster-prone countries in the world, regularly hit by typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. In such situations, drones are invaluable. They can quickly assess damage, locate survivors, and help coordinate rescue operations, all while keeping humans out of harm's way. During natural disasters, the same cameras that once scanned for enemy movements now search for stranded families and damaged infrastructure. This dual-use capability makes the Scan Eagle a true asset for both defense and peace. Over time, the success of the Scan Eagle program inspired the Philippines to consider building its own drone industry. Local engineers and defense researchers began exploring indigenous designs for surveillance and combat UAVs, learning from the technology and operational experience gained from the Scan Eagle. It became not just a tool, but a teacher, laying the groundwork for future Philippine made drones that could one day patrol the same skies. Technically speaking, the Scan Eagle remains a masterpiece of endurance and simplicity. Its engine is a 1.9 horsepower piston system, running on aviation gasoline, giving it a cruising speed of around 100 km per hour. It's not built for speed, it's built for persistence. It can loiter over an area for nearly an entire day, quietly gathering data. Its sensors are stabilized with a gimbaled camera turret, allowing operators to zoom in, switch between thermal and optical views, and record everything in high definition. Every second of footage, every movement captured, helps analysts create detailed maps and reports for tactical or strategic use. For the United States, providing the Scan Eagle was part of a broader strategy to help allies in the Indo-Pacific improve their maritime awareness and defense capabilities. For the Philippines, it was a crucial opportunity to modernize and take control of its own intelligence operations. Instead of relying on information shared by other nations, the AFP could now collect, process, and act on its own data. That's a level of independence that every modern military strives for. As time goes on, the role of drones like the Scan Eagle will only grow. Newer models are already being developed with better range, higher endurance, and even small payload capacities. In the coming years, the Philippines plans to expand its UAV fleet, possibly introducing armed variants or locally produced models inspired by the Scan Eagle. The lessons learned from operating this drone will guide the next generation of Filipino engineers, pilots, and defense planners. In many ways, the Scan Eagle is more than just a machine. It's a symbol, a representation of progress, cooperation, and the determination of a nation to adapt to the demands of modern warfare. For the Philippines, it showed that even small aircraft can have a massive impact. 
It proved that intelligence is as powerful as firepower, and that watching from above can sometimes be the best form of defense. As the sun sets over the Philippine archipelago, one can imagine the scan eagle still soaring high above, unseen, unheard, but always watching. Its camera glides over islands, ships, and coastlines, feeding silent streams of data to the command centers below. Every mission, every flight, adds another chapter to the Philippines' story of modernization and resilience. From tracking militants in the jungles of Mindanao to monitoring the waves of the West Philippine Sea, the Scan Eagle has become an invisible guardian, a sentinel of peace and strength. It's not just the first military drone of the Philippines, it's the foundation of a new era, an era where technology and strategy merge to protect a nation's freedom and future. And as the Philippine armed forces continue to evolve, one thing is clear, the age of unmanned warfare is here, and it began with a small gray drone that silently took flight, carrying with it the hopes of a nation ready to defend its skies, its seas, and its people. This is the Rev Line, and that was the story of the first Philippine military drone, the Scan Eagle UAV. The beginning of a new chapter in Philippine defense, and a reminder that sometimes, the smallest machines can make the biggest difference.